G'day folks. Well, I have something uh, you've probably seen similar before. I found an old container of really old stuff that some guy had a long time ago. And that's sort of what we might be looking at here. I've got an old vinyl covered technician's case. It's been around for a long time and hasn't been used. Looking at the layer of dirt on it. And, uh, yeah. It has a label on it. It says, Typewriter and Computer Centre. Sales, Supplies, Telephone, 329-5755. And there's a logo there, TCC. I wonder what might be in here. Hmm. Nothing on the bottom apart from rust and muck. Ooh, look at that. The hinges are a little bit stiff, but locks back. It's an old techies case. It's got leather. It leather. Yeah, it's a real leather tool holding panel. It's a bit of mould and crap in here, but it all seems to be there. And as you can see, there's a lot of little bits and pieces, including this, which my friend put aside from a similar pile of stuff. Unfortunately some of it's gone, but he did grab this for me, which is the first item. This is a uh, IBM electrostatic wristband and mat. And the best thing is, the plastic bag has never been opened. It's never even been used. That is the matting. It's a bit of crud in there, but... Yep, that's the original ESD mat for working on old computers. I'm guessing that's carbon-based, conductive. That's some neat stuff. I'll probably end up using it. Do not put the mat near power. Built in high resistance. <laughs> Crack. You'd die. <laughs> yeah, it's conductive, so yeah, don't use, don't place a PCB on it and then turn it on. Yeah. Various instructions and things. Test resistors in court at least once a week. Oh yeah. Clean wristband. It's a clean ESD mat. It's actually breaking down. I can see the coating starting to flake off here, so it's probably more of a collectible than anything else, I guess. Yeah, there's the wristband. Which has braiding or something in it. Oh no, that's it. That's the pickup there. The band's just elastic, which is actually quite degraded. So, on second thoughts, I might not use this. The bag's got interesting holes in it. Something's been in there. <laughs> yeah, something's either been attacking or eating the bag. An interesting bit of kit. I'll repack that properly. Hmm, all sorts of bits and pieces. Oh, here we go. IBM TCC Typewriter Computer Center. And that technician's name was Anthony Smith, appointed IBM dealer. Ninety-six. A Beckett Street, Melbourne, 3000. Yeah. Supplies of electronic typewriters, computers, word processors, typewriter supplies, typing and direct mail services, and service and repairs. Well, there you go. That's where it came from. It's an original IBM part bag. This all looks like typewriter bits. Yeah, it's got an old part number on it.
to Anthony James contact number urgent please uh, Tony Smith just a note someone left him a bit of old uh, form feed paper or whatever you call it it's just various mechanical components rotate tape 725 it's like a springy thing. It's like a long length of spring steel with eyelets on the end. Maybe some kind of tool. Oh, that's probably, that goes over the print head, the type head. Because there's type heads in here. This one's still sealed in its package. Large, Elite 72, IBM. Little, little screws and things in everything. And there's a bag of bits and pieces. Lots of little pinion gears, they're plastic. <laughs> Unless you're a real IBM typewriter fanatic, most of this stuff probably you would probably wouldn't even recognise. IBM Parts Room, Protective Package, Kentucky. Hmm. September 2, 1986. And it's got the part number on there too. Hmm. Looks like a bushing and some kind of plastic. No, it's, they're both metal. The original part. Various type heads. Not even metal, it's plastic. What is it? Oh, it's alloy. It's alley. Probably a service kit, complete service. Well, well, it's open now, but probably was a complete service kit for some kind of typewriter. Yeah, brand new. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's an old grease gun. It's a bit hard to read, but... That's a bloody pay slip. Wage commission 902, tax 194, net pay 788, allowances for tools 80. It's a pay slip, 1989, 9th of the 689, employee number 52. And look at that, they've actually. Oh, it's probably a blank. But they've rewritten it for this guy, T. Smith. Wow. It's amazing going through this sort of stuff. Yeah, there's some containers for these heads. It's probably all nicely laid out in such a way that it didn't all fall in a heap. But it's been junk tossed around so much, it's all just scattered. It's another part. Oh, the springs. like a clutching assembly or something. 1980. The date, 12th, 20, 20th of the 12th, 1980. Some of this stuff's old. Maybe ribbon feed brackets or something. Artisan 12. 
Uh, Artisan is probably the font. These are different font things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elite 72, light italic, Artisan 12. Yeah, they're different fonts. Courier 12. Courier. Ah, of course. Adjutant. Adjutant. Big spring in there, looks like. Yeah. It's a coil spring. Artisan 95. Yeah, different different font uh, type heads. More business cards from this guy, Anthony Smith. Spanner. IBM part number 9900090 5 eighths and 3 quarter Key of some description, oh it's like a uh, Torx securities key IBM brush It's even embossed on it I don't think that comes off Electrical tape. Something down in there. What is that? I'm about out of battery. We're going to have to pause this video. I've already gone into 11 minutes. This is going to be a giant upload. <laughs> I know how much people like enormous uploads. Actually, I'll break this into pieces. Screw it. I'm not encoding it and losing quality. We might as well upload every single bit in high definition. On off switch. Loose Serene USA. IBM part number 1175205 hmm. Yeah, next video we go close in. I'll get rid of some of these business cards and loose bits and uh, I'll have a much closer look because there's so much stuff in here. There's more paperwork. What's this? City of Melbourne Road Safety Procedural Regulations Notice Oh, it's a bloody parking ticket <laughs> 28th of August 1989 Yeah, it's a parking ticket In the middle of Melbourne Of course, you, you work in Melbourne The parking officers are going to get you anyway A. Beckett That must be the dickhead who issued it <laughs> I hate parking officers Living in Frankston They'll camp you out and park, give you a ticket just as you're walking to the bloody ticket machine. It's not a metre right next to your car. There's a machine further down the road, so as soon as you walk away, the bastard come out, comes out of his hiding place and starts writing a ticket. I think they got done for doing that, but I bet you they're doing it again. Nah. <laughs> Various tools and things. Anywho, that's all for this episode. Stay tuned for part two. And they'll be fairly far apart by the looks of it. <laughs> and there's the rest of that great grease gun. <laughs>